I'm up on top of my barn preparing another antenna energy collection experiment. I just had put up some supports here and strung a wire from the house to the barn. Previously, I had a wooden antenna on top of the barn collecting uh, stray electricity and I had it running some lights. But a couple months ago, we had a pretty bad windstorm and it tore it up a little bit. So I decided to just take it down and try something else. Something I had going once before, I had wires strung out from the house to the barn. I think it's probably like maybe six years ago. I had up for quite a few years. But then that one spruce tree had grown right up into the wire, so I had to take it down. And now I got something like that going again. I got, it's about 150 feet from the two, in between the two supports. And I got a bare 14 gauge copper wire strung out. I just connected it up to the feed-in wire, and I'll now I'll go down and see what kind of electricity I'm getting off of it. I'm isolated from the ground effect as much as I can be. I got PVC conduit uh, for the supports, and it's about 30 feet off the ground. I have provisions to run three runs of wire on these cross supports I got. And before I was picking up radio waves, we, it does look like there's a transmission antenna off in that direction, but I don't know if that's the antenna I was picking up once before. The radio stations are at least four and a half miles away. I zoomed in, it's hard to hold that steady. But that's the situation we have. We have the power lines off to the north. I don't know if we'll pick up anything from that. And I have the wires connected into the lead in. I got a little conduit there so it's not rubbing on the roof. And that's where those wind turbines are. Not much wind today, but they're turning a little bit. So this is that lead in wire comes in through the window and this is a ground I have connected here and what we're getting right now is 35 looks like it jumped to 36 volts it's just open circuit voltage between the antenna wire and the ground and I'll check out what we have for current It'll just be Shorted amps, microamps on this meter here. I got to switch this over. And it looks like we're getting 6.2 microamps shorted. What I did before is I kept adding res to get a maximum load on a in a circuit. I kept uh, Changing the resistance until I get the maximum voltage with the maximum current. And we'll go ahead and switch this over and check the frequency too. Because I'm not sure what the source is. Check that. It's jumping around. I'll hold this a little closer and you can see it. This is kilohertz hundred to it was jumping all around I thought it might be higher I thought it might be a higher radio frequency because when they had the wires strung out between the house and the barn before I was picking up an AM radio station on my crystal radio and I could tell when they boosted their power during the day and then turned it down at night. But this looks different. Maybe the wire length is different too. My antenna wire length might be different. So now I'm going to try some other things with the antenna wire to see if I can boost the power. The next experimental wire antenna I got set up is the same size wire. I got it hooked up to the lead-in wire and I got it stitched through a ribbon of burlap. 
Well, I didn't have enough burlap, but I got some of it in there. I can't stretch, I can't tighten it up so it's quite as high as the other one. It's kind of twisting my mass around, but I'm going to go see what kind of power this one's putting off. I had a couple of runners hanging down the burlap strings. It's hard to prevent that. It's kind of unraveling, but I'm going to take a look at the readings now quick before it unravels and falls apart. So I'll test the voltage first. Thirty-five. Oh, well, that's about what the other wire was. So voltage-wise, with the burlap on there didn't pick up anything more. I thought it might because I had tried some rope, natural hemp rope, before with a wire to pick some up, but this one didn't pick anything more up. Uh, I'll try. We picked up any current. Put your lamps, switch this over. Seven point five microamps. So oh, it picked up uh one point five more microamps than just the bare wire. Nothing more on the voltage, but a little bit more on the current. That's interesting. I thought it would pick up more in voltage, but it picked up a little bit more on the current. Hmm. Got one more design I'm going to try. Yeah. And for curiosity's sake, I tied both of the antenna wires together to see what they do combined. 39 volts, open voltage circuit and we'll try the current here to see what that comes up to be see if it adds up a little bit 9.9 .9 microamps so they it added to each other but it just it didn't double it it added 9.9 .9 max looks like okay and my last run of wire is a stranded wire. A 14 gauge copper wire was stranded and I tried to space the strands out a little bit. I unwound it, tried to space it out a little bit, but I wanted to see if that would draw in more if I increase the spatial area of the wire. 14 gauge should be the same resistance as these other ones and I got it hooked up now to the lead-in wire and we'll go check the voltage and current on that so the voltage is the same as the other ones about 36 volts and now I'll switch over to the current and see what we got there 6.7 not quite as good as a burlap one, but a little bit better than the solid copper wire. Hmm. Interesting. So the burlap one is the best. And now this is all three of them tied together. 12.3 microamps and Check the voltage. Forty one volts. So voltage goes up a little bit when they're all tied together. Individually they're all thirty six volts and the current went up some too. I think it was nine nine point nine microamps with the first two tied together went up a little bit more with the third one and I don't want to forget to check the frequency this the prevalent frequency I'm not sure what that is 
that's not the radio station that I was picking up before. I think that was like 1500 kilohertz. I'm not sure what this is. That seems to be pretty steady now, right in the around 40 kilohertz. Then we'll see how it works over time. And I got them all tied in together through my same circuit that I had before, my perpetual lighting circuit. And they're going through the LED lights. This is just that uh, full bridge rectifier with a little capacitor to filter it out a little bit. It's just little bits of energy again, but it's kind of fun when you can light up LEDs all the time. Uh, well, it seemed like the wire that was stitched through the burlap worked the best, and the burlap was treated with vinegar, like I did with the wood in the other videos. I did try natural rope before, too, in a different area, and that worked, too. It's just that the rope I was using, the hemp rope, is just a little too heavy to try to tighten up and get the seg out between 150 feet. I just I couldn't get the seg out if I wanted to stretch it across there. But it seems like it needs to be a natural material that the vinegar would soak into because synthetic just doesn't seem to work for some reason. I don't know if it's the uh, pores in it that kind of soak up the vinegar. But even now it's dried and even frozen, but it's still conducting in more than just a bare wire. Now the frequency, I'm not sure what that is. 40 kilohertz seems to be what it's settled in at. And that's just, it's almost like an ultrasonic frequency, so I don't know if it's a wire vibrating or what. I know the radio station that I was picking up before when I had the wires strung between the house and the barn, that was 1.2 megahertz. And I just recently found out that that radio station is off the air, and I'm not broadcasting anymore, so I don't have that, which is kind of a shame because I was picking up maybe one to three milliwatts off of those wires. Oh, I had eight of them then. And now we're just fractions of a milliwatt. But it's still enough to light some lights up all the time. And that's kind of fun. So I'm going to try some more experiments with different types of antenna setups. I'll, I, I was thinking maybe even just uh, running out aluminum tape might work too. Or this time of year, aluminum tinsel. <laughs> I think you need to increase the spatial area around the wire. Reducing the resistance of the wire, like I mentioned in other videos, doesn't seem to increase the output. But if you increase the spatial area, even if it's just a weak conductor, it seems to output more. But anyway, thank you for watching this video, and I'll keep you updated.